Hey everybody, welcome back to Champ and Sons and our Madden 22 franchise series where we are now the head coach of the Minnesota Vikings taking over for a fired Mike Zimmer um, after we were able to pull off a Super Bowl win as the offensive coordinator uh, for the Tennessee Titans. So coming into this season, we had some good, we had a pretty decent, I guess you could say, okay, uh, preseason. We finished up 1-1-1. One, 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 um, so that's pretty funny. Um, but we finished up. I had some pretty good players come through. Emilio Vias is one of them. Um, he had a great preseason coming off as our right end. You know, Daniil Hunter is on the other side. And so um, he draws a lot of attention, basically being the left end. And, and so that left him kind of open. But Vias took complete advantage of that situation and has been playing excellent, making a lot of big stops. Um, which is something I think we're definitely going to need this season. So coming into our season, looking at it, um, looks like we'll be taking on some NFC West teams, and I guess AFC South is also what it looks like are going to be the primary divisions uh, that we're going to be playing, and then they're sprinkling in the Eagles, and I did see which other team. I guess the, no, the Texans are AFC South, so... It's going to be a long road ahead of us. Um, one of the things that we do have to think about is the key to victory. How do we want to play this offensive-minded or defensive-minded? Well, offense worked for us pretty well in Tennessee. I think we have definite potential to have that happen again for us here in this one. So we are going to go offensive-minded. Now, there is a risk in that, in um that we do have a rookie quarterback. So in looking at how do we want our offensive game plan to be focused, passing game or running game, I think you got to take advantage of players when you have guys on your offense like um, like our running back, Cook. I mean, once you have guys like him, you have to take advantage of that. And if you're not going to, well, then, I mean, we're just going to completely misuse this offense. So we are definitely going to look to make the running game a focus. Um, as far as our rookie quarterback, Nate Langford, coming in, he is going to be the starter, which is why I said we want to make um, Dalvin Cook one of our primary focus um, on the offense. And then let him know that we it's going to be a long season for him. He's going to have a lot of places to grow in, right? <laughs> I don't want to put the weight of the world on his shoulders. I mean, this team was a 6-11 and team in the previous season. Um, so it, it's something that I think if we can look to improve on that, that's why we set our goal to seven wins, is we've definitely got an opportunity and a team that can improve on that stat. And we're going to jump into that, trying to work our way to a better season here, starting it off against the Houston Texans. Game one, kickoff Sunday. Um, we are here in the first quarter, about six minutes to go, trailing Houston 7 to nothing. Nate Langford playing from behind early on in this first game. Hands it off to Cook up the middle. Makes a cut to the right, and Dalvin Cook gets brought down at the 14-yard line. A big gain for Cook on that one, right up the middle. That hole opened up a little too easy, it looked like to me. So here we come now, first and 10 from the 14. Langford is going to be in the shotgun once again. Three receivers to the right side. Smith to the left. Drops back. It's going to be a screen pass. Drops it off, and it's going to be intercepted by Houston. And he broke a tackle. They're going to take it back. Dalvin Cook, he's trying to chase him down. He's at him at the 10. Five. Cook finally tackles him. He, man, that is an ankle grabber. Shoestring tackle at the three-yard line. Dalvin Cook. Stopped that one from becoming a pick six, but they have a first and goal at the three, and here come the Texans' offense. Watson is still there in a shotgun formation. Hands it off up the middle. We're going to get the stop on that one. Um, Mr. Moss there running back. He's had a pretty good afternoon at 23 yards already, but I am unable to get anything going right there. So now second and goal. Watson comes into a shotgun formation, three receiver set. Hands it off to his running back. Makes a man miss. And he's going to go diving into the end zone. Moss, unstoppable. And now we were trailing big, and that would get a little bit worse. Here we are in the second quarter, 13 minutes ago, trailing 21 to nothing. Firing it over the middle. Devontae Parker comes down with it at the 30-yard line. Pretty big play by him. And 
And it looks like right now Langford is 6 of 12 for just over 150 yards. So you like seeing the yardage on that. Um, I would prefer to have a better throw percentage. And if we did, you know, we're obviously getting a lot of really big plays like that pass to Parker right there, finding them in those open gaps. The completions are going for big plays, and so we just need we need that to happen more consistently as far as the completions go. You know, and get us on the board. So now after that first and 10, we do hand it off with Cook off to the left side. He's going to be stopped for a short gain and about four yards on that one. Slight hole opened up, but nothing too major, and it got shut down pretty quick. So now second and six, Langford in a shotgun formation, has a snap, scans the field, fires it to the right, and that's almost intercepted. It looked like he had Jefferson coming on that crossing pattern, little drag route there, and just threw it too far. Just could not, could not have the timing um, proper. Now third and six, Langford. He's going to have the snap, fires it to the left side. He's got Smith Jr. at the five, and he's brought down actually at the four-yard line. They force him out of bounds. 7 of 12 for 133 yards. So he is 6 of 11 for 120-something. Um, when we were talking about it previously, still a decent day. Just want to have that completion percentage get picked up a little bit. Now on the verge of adding the first touchdown or score of the season, Vikings at the 4-yard line. Langford drops back, fires it in. That one is deflected on the slant pattern. Tried to hit Jefferson coming on the slant, and that one was stopped relatively easily. So now second and goal from the four-yard line. Ten minutes, just under 11 minutes to go here in the second quarter. Langford is going to be under center. Hands it off up the middle. Dalvin Cook makes a man miss and is brought down at the one-yard line. He's got 57 yards on nine rushes today and trying to get that first touchdown of the new season. Third and goal from the one. Langford going to be going goal line formation. Power set. Play action to Cook. Langford rolls out to his right, fires it, and it's going to be deflected up in the air, and it falls incomplete. And that would bring it to fourth and goal from the one. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Under center, three wide. Langford, fourth and goal, trailing by 21. He gets the snap, scans over the field, fires it, and he completely missed that one. A horrible throw. His timing was all off, and Houston will take that one over and they will score on their ensuing drive. Now we're going to jump a little bit ahead to the second, further in the second quarter. And now we get a good pass off right there to Adam Thielen, but we've not had a whole lot of good plays as there is one minute remaining here in the second, and we are trailing 31 to nothing. Langford, he drops back. He fires it over. He's got Dalvin Cook for a big-time completion right there. And just trying to get points up on the board here. First and goal. 30 seconds remaining in the first half. Play action to Cook. Langford stands tall in the pocket. Rolls to the left. Fires it incomplete. Just threw that one away. Didn't have anybody open and did not feel confident enough to make any throw that could have been possible. Second and goal now from the three-yard line. Langford in a shotgun formation. Has a snap. They bring a blitz. He fires it. Devontae Parker makes the catch. Touchdown, Vikings. Oh, my goodness. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Nate Langford, first touchdown of his career. Unfortunately, it is about as meaningless as possible as that will make the score 31 to seven here at the end of the first half of his first start. And I tell you, ladies and gentlemen, at, at times it looked like maybe it's gonna get a little bit better. Here in the third quarter, trailing 38 to seven now, we got a pass off to Parker deep down the right side as he gets finally chased out of bounds at the 46-yard line, still on our side of the field. Parker was coming all the way across the field. Langford kind of trailed him for a second, but it then gets the pass off, and Parker takes it the rest of the way. So now first and 10, 12 minutes to go in the third quarter. Like I said, 38-7 to is the score as it stands right now. Langford drops back, fires it over. It's going to be caught by Irv Smith, our tight end. He's had a hell of a day this Afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. A big time day for him as he looks, he's racked up six receptions for about 120 yards on the afternoon so far, and we're still in the third quarter. Now, first and 10, Langford hands it to Cook up the middle. Going forward, big time run by Dalvin Cook. Takes it all the way to the 22 yard line. And it looks like our offense, maybe a little too, <laughs> too little too late, but has finally found some way to get things moving. They have kept this game pushing forward. 
Now on a first and 10, Langford, play action, rolls out to his right, fires it back to his tight end, McDonald, breaks a tackle, lowers his shoulder. McDonald gets brought down at the 11-yard line. Coming back, a little delayed drag route by him. I uh, found the space and actually broke the tackle and got a little extra, a few extra yards on that one. Pretty good run by that young man. So now first and 10 for this Vikings offense, and we are moving. The 11-yard line. Hand it to Cook up the middle. Dalvin Cook makes a man miss, but is brought down after a gain of only a couple yards. He does have over 100 yards already with about 110 of them on 17 carries. Kind of a lot for this early um, in the game, especially when you're trailing by 31. And so here we go. Second and eight from the nine. Langford drops back. And that's intercepted. And here they come back with it. Langford, the last man who could prevent this from being a pick six, dives, and that's despicable. Pick six, Langford had the out route, but it wasn't even available. Glad he was just sitting there, and it, and it really, I mean, it was bad. Um, poor decision-making led to too many mistakes. Now, we did try to put up a rally and add 20 more points, a few, couple more scores. Um Nothing special. We lose this game big time, 45 to 28, um, or 27, I mean. It was a trouncing, okay, absolute trouncing um, by 18 points. So not very good start to the season like we were looking for. Um, you know, not, not really what we were wanting. So Eddie Valles or Emilio Valles had the opportunity to, I guess, you'll be at camp stand. Basically, you meet it, you get a bunch of XP and all that. And he didn't. we didn't come up with it this time. Getting the two tackles for a loss, we had the one we didn't get to. So he, he did get close to it, and it's the basic standard. Keep your, keep your eye on the prize and keep your head up. You did well, young man. Um, type of sentiment. So we didn't get the upgrade for him. Now, as far as looks like Dalvin Cook's kind of upset at us, um, we followed the key to victory. We, we ran Cook probably close to 30 times. He had almost 200 yards rushing. So it's not like we didn't give our running game the opportunity. Um, they just never had a real opportunity to make things happen. So first game is a big-time loss. And so we're going to come here into the second game. That will be another home game here against division rival Detroit Lions. And we're going to jump into this one here at about a little, just under 12 minutes to go in the first quarter. As Langford drops back, gets chased from behind, and is brought down on the sack. Tredavious White comes through, got around our blocker, and is able to bring us down for the sack. Second and 22 now from the 38-yard line. That's where we are. Langford is going to be in the shotgun formation. Three wide once again. Hands it off to Cook to the left side. Man gets through a hole and is finally brought down after a gain of about six yards. And that'll be move us to the 33-yard line. with A third and 17 after that run by Cook. Pretty physical run, and you'd like to get have those get a little bit of extra yards than just the five that we got. But um, I guess third and 17 is better than third and 22. So now we can drop back. Langford fires it over the middle. He makes the catch. Wow. Okay, so Devontae Parker makes a great catch in traffic, but it's just not quite far enough. And that is going to bring up a fourth down, as it will now be fourth and two. And we're going to go for this field goal, try to take the lead. Our first lead of the season right there on the field goal. Big time kick for us, as I would say. And we come through, and now we lead this one three to nothing. So here come back the Lions trying to answer to us. Our defense needed to make a stop as they hand it off, and that's going to be – we're going to stop Swift really quickly on that one as he picks up only a yard. That would be his first carry. And so second and nine for the Lions offense here at the Viking 26-yard line. Lions are in scoring position, so we do need our defense to make a big play. Second and nine. Goff under center, hands it off to Swift in the backfield, makes a couple guys miss, breaks a couple tackles, and is finally brought down. Oh, that wasn't Smith. That was Edwards brought down after a gain of five. That makes it pretty well third and manageable. Third down stops is really what we need. 
It's kind of what we struggled with in the last game. So we need to make that a definite point of improvement. Third and four. Goff has the snap. Fires it to the right side. And he's got it, man. He's right there just enough. You've got to be kidding me. Jared Goff gets. They needed four yards. He picked up five yards. Swift gets just enough. on Probably the way he got tackled. Um, you know, that gave him that extra yard. So first and ten. Lions Goff over the middle. Finds Calvin Ridley. you got to remember we traded away Ridley when we were with the Falcons. So he's now on the Lions and paying us for that one. Second and four now. Goff is going to be in the backfield all by his lonesome. And the shotgun gets a snap. Fires it over to, who's that, Hawkinson real quick. He got that one on the slant pattern. No way to cover him. And Hawkinson's going to be brought down after a gain of six. But that does bring up first and goal from the four for this Lions offense. Goff is going to be under center. Heavy set formation. Hands it off to Swift. Big hole to the right side. Swift lowers his shoulder. And is the guy going to be denied as he will be brought down in the end zone? And that's going to be a touchdown for the Lions. And they will take the lead. Now we have to respond to that. This is what separates good teams from bad teams. Being able to have a response. And so on our next drive, first and ten. A little bit of play action. And we have Parker open. Langford missed him, and that's just part of his lack of, I guess, accuracy is the best way to put it. Um, that's part, just part of it. He's going to have to get better on those throws, um, and that one cost us big time right there. So second and ten, hand it off to Cook to the left side. Big hole, cuts it back up. Delvin Cook down the side, 30, 20. No one's going to catch him, 10. Touchdown, Vikings. Oh, my goodness. Oh, baby. Oh, baby, Delvin Cook, big time run. He found that hole, slipped right through it, and no one was going to stop him after that. What a run by Cook. Quick to the opening, then cut and made the man miss. Actually juked out what looked like the whole defensive backfield for the Lions um, right there. And he finishes off that almost 80-yard rush, about 75 from where he took possession of the ball. Big time run. Big time play by this offense. And so after that touchdown, we have another shot at it again here with a first and 10. And there we are. Langford misses that one to the flat. He had Cook wide open off that play action. And that probably would have gone for six. But Cook unable to come down with it as pretty poor thrown by Langford on that one. So second and 10. Come out in a shotgun formation, three wide. Langford with the snap, scans the field, fires it to the right side. And Adam Thielen just could not come up with that one. As he was coming on the, I guess you could say crossing pattern. It was a little further than a drag. So he's coming on the crossing pattern, unable to maintain possession as he was hit right when it got to him. Uh, but you still expect him to make that catch. So now third and 10, Langford. Shotgun formation once again. Three wide to the left, Smith in the slot and on the right. He has a snap, scans over the field. Langford drops back to his right, fires it. That's going to be caught, but was he He was short, wasn't he? He, he was short four by four yards of the first down marker that'll make it fourth and four so we are going to kick a field goal try to reclaim this lead once again Minshew with the hold the kick is up and it is going to be good right down the middle as that will add another three points to us um, that would give us a lead if not just for a short little bit as Detroit comes back and takes the lead on us once again, they score a touchdown of their own, so we now trail by four, 17 to 13. There's, we're still about the six minute mark of the second quarter. So first and 10 for this Viking offense. As we come out three wide, they're pretty close in in the shotgun formation. Langford has a snap, drops back. He's got a man, Jefferson, down the sideline. Jefferson finally gets brought down at the 21 yard line. Wow, what a quick strike by this offense. And that is what this, this young duo can do. Jefferson and Langford, they have got serious potential for long-term success like that on big strike plays. As we got him on that little looking like post type route, as he makes a catch or corner route, and he goes for a pretty good di distance all the way down to the 21. And so brand new set of downs here, still in the second quarter, trying to take the lead. Langford, under center this time, three receiver set. Hands it to Cook off the left side. They have that one blocked up pretty well. The Lions will bring Cook down after only a gain of about two yards. So second and eight, but we are in the red zone now at the 19-yard line. 
here trying to reclaim the lead in this one. Under five minutes to go in the first half. Second and eight, Langford. He's in the shotgun, has the snap, scans over the field, fires it. He's got Thielen on the drag pattern. Adam Thielen brought down after a gain of nine, and that's going to pick up a first and ten, or first and goal from the ten, rather, for this Viking offense. Now Langford comes set, shotgun formation. He has Cook in the backfield to his left, hands it to Cook going right. Dalvin Cook up the middle for about five yards. He's got 12 rushes, 111 yards today, and he's already got one touchdown. I'm the one and only touchdown scored by this Viking offense. So second and goal now. Langford is going to be under center. Three receivers with Thielen in the slot to the left. Cook in the backfield. He has a snap. Scans over. Rolls out to his right side. And Langford's going to run it. And he gets knocked out of bounds at the seven. That is going to go for a sack. Um, probably should have thrown it away. But we were just waiting a little too long to see if someone was going to be able to get open. Third and goal. We're going to go five wide now all by ourselves in the backfield. Shotgun. Langford has it, fires it over the, the middle to one of his receivers in the slot, and that one is going to be knocked down and force us to kick a field goal here just over two minutes to go in the half. It is going to be 17-16 to 16 if we can make this one. And we will actually call timeout. Kicking the field goal, you know what, two and a half minutes at the seven-yard line. We're going to go for it. If we don't get it, I think we should be able to stop them. Uh, prevent them from scoring. So fourth and goal, five wide. Langford has a snap. Lions only bring three. They don't get much pressure. They throw it up, and that one's knocked down. We go for it on fourth down, and we fail to get it. That's not a good sign. And here come the Lions, as I assumed we could stop them, and this is what we do. We completely blow it as they give up the big play to Calvin Ridley down the left for the touchdown. So... With that in mind, we now have another opportunity, but this time we're only trailing by 11. Uh, 24 to 13 is what the score is. 50 seconds remaining still in the first half. Langford now drops back. He's going to throw that one up. It gets tipped and intercepted by the Lions defense. Langford threw that one up. Never should have made that throw. He dropped back, read that pass play perfectly, and the Lions are going to have possession once again on our side of the field. They still have three timeouts, 44 seconds. Goff drops that one off to Hawkinson, who's going to step out of bounds at the 30-yard line. 41 seconds. This game has gotten out of control quick. And that's kind of what happened with the last game, too. It got out of control quick. We have to get this thing settled down here and stop Detroit from scoring. Now on second and four, they're going to throw that one up to the left. We do. He makes a catch, but we actually push him out of bounds. So he's not able to come down inbounds with it. Incomplete, third and four from the 30-yard line. Holding them to a field goal would be a success at this point. So third and four, Goff, shotgun formation. He's got three receivers and Hawkinson in the slot to the right. He has a snap, scans over, fires it. Hawkinson's all by himself like he was just forgotten about. And now Detroit calls timeout after they pick up the first down. You've got to be kidding me. First and 10. 30 seconds remaining here from the 18-yard line. Goff comes to the formation in a shotgun. Fires it over the middle. That one's incomplete. Just led his receiver slightly too much, and it does fall incomplete. So second and 10. Now that play call only took three seconds off the clock, so not a lot. 27 still remaining. Second and 10. Goff comes out in a shotgun formation. Has a snap. Scans over the field. Fires it. He's got a man open in the end zone. That's going to be Ridley with another touchdown catch. And they would go up 31 to uh, 16. So here we are now in the start of the third quarter. This is their first drive. We need to make the stop. It is first and 10. They are leading by 15. This is where we have to show up. Our offense needs us right here as a defense uh, to come through. Second and six. We get some pressure. Goff goes running and fires that one away, and it's going to fall incomplete. So third and six from the six-yard line. So ironically enough, they could technically get a first down. Here they come, though. Goff is going to be under center. Two tight ends to his left side, two receivers to the right. Goff has the snaps, and we finally start collapsing the pocket. A little too late, and that one gets deflected up and falls incomplete. And the Lions will be held without a touchdown. 
That's been a rare stance for us. They do kick a field goal, however, and take the lead by 18, 34 to 16. So here we come on our ensuing drive. Langford drops back, play action, and finds Jefferson on kind of the little slant pattern all the way across the field, though, after that play action. It's going to end up picking up nine yards and bring up a second and one here. Trailing by 18, this is a three-score ball game, but it's not out of reach. There's, we're up five and a half minutes to go in the third quarter. Now Langford rolling out to his right, has a little bit of space and just runs it, and he's going to pick up about uh, not very much, and it brings it to third and inches. So under center, Langford, three tight ends to the right side this time, handed off to Cook up the middle. He's going to pick up just enough uh, for that first down, bring up first and 10 from the 24. This Vikings offense needing to make something happen here. We have to get a score. Langford. And a shotgun formation. Three receivers to the left side. Smith on the line to the right. Play action to Cook. Langford drops back. Has a man. Fires it. Devontae Parker can't come down with it. Nate Langford put on a pretty good pass right there. He just could not come down with it. That is disappointing to see. Big time opportunity slipping through our fingertips. Next place. Next place. Second and 10. We hand it off to Dalvin Cook up the middle for a gain of about four yards Nothing too special there. So third and six is what we are looking at right now, ladies and gentlemen, needing to get this converted. I would hate to say it, but I think we're basically in four-down territory. I might kick a field goal. I'm not sure uh, just yet. So third and six, Langford drops back, fires it to the left side, and they deflect that one. 34-16. to 16. It's an 18-point ball game. Kick a field goal, that'll be a 15-point ball game. That's still two scores. That's two scores at that point. It's worth it. Um, I do kick the field goal, and that one goes right through the middle. And so the score is now, well, it was 34 to 19. Um, but it's 41 to 19, but we are here in the fourth quarter, so I guess that's some form of improvement. Trailing by 22 points as we get that quick slant pattern off to Devontae Parker. He's going to come down with it um, at the 31-yard line, so he does pick up a first down and get a few more yards for himself. He's got 100 and about 10 yards receiving on five catches this afternoon. Trailing by 22, 41 to 19 is what the Lions lead us at the moment. Now Langford hands it off to Dalvin Cook right off the right center, and he picks up a good few yards. He's got 150, about three yards on the afternoon. So a pretty good day for him and a touchdown. Just It hasn't translated to points for our offense. Too many field goals um, has been an issue. So second and six. We fire that one up over to the left side. Looking for Thielen coming, it looks like, on that slant pattern. Unable to make a connection. And that one will fall incomplete. Third and six for this Viking offense. I'm trying to at least make the gap smaller. That's our first step. Make the gap smaller. Langford sends a man in motion. Comes to the snap. Play action. Drops back. Fires it. He's got a man, Devontae Parker, but he's not able to come down with it. Great defensive play by the safety. He knocked it away uh, from our guys. So fourth and six. We decide no field goal. We're going for end zone only. Drop back. Langford fires it. Had a man, and he led him too much. He had Smith. Tried to drop it right into that zone, but led him just too much. And that one fell incomplete. Now, we did eventually get a score and make it 27 to 41. So we are trailing by 14. Downside is time is not on our side. We have one minute to go here, needing to get a score. Langford, five wide. As a snap, Scans, stands in the pocket, fires it to Dalvin Cook. He's trying to get out of bounds, and Cook races to the sideline. We do have zero timeouts left. We have zero timeouts left. And so Cook hauled Keister to the out-of-bounds line to get out-of-bounds before um, he gets tackled down before. So clock is stopped. 51 seconds. Langford, shotgun formation, has a snap. Scans over the field, fires it, has a man. Thielen, what a catch! One-handed, jumped up to make that one. And oh, no, Jefferson is hurt. Not, this is right when we need him, Jefferson. 34 seconds, 46 yards to go to get a touchdown, onside kick, and another touchdown. So Langford, he is undeterred by that little knowledge right there. Play action. Fires it to the right side. He's going to make that catch. No, no, we only got one foot down inbounds. 
unable to make that catch. So time goes off the clock, incomplete, second and 10 from the 46 yard line, 30 seconds remaining in this one. 41 to 27 is the score. If we don't get a score in the next basically two plays, um, it's gonna be dang near impossible to complete this comeback. Langford having to roll out of the pocket. They brought, they didn't bring any pressure. Four guys is all it took. He got around his man and he got sent off and got the sack. So here we are, third and 18. Time is expiring. Um, it goes out. That was it. All she wrote. Oh, crap. That's two losses in a row. All right. So starting to look a little bit like it did in Atlanta. We have a lot of football left to turn this thing around, though. Okay. And a big journey ahead of us. And for that journey, I want you all to join us. So be sure you hit the subscribe button and uh, the little notification icon to be notified when all of Champ and Son content is uploaded to the channel. Hey, if y'all did like today's video, if you enjoy seeing me lose, give me a thumbs up. Um, it really does help out the channel, and we greatly appreciate everything that y'all do for us here um, at Champ and Sons. So we will see you in the next episode as we take on a couple of NFC West foes in the Seattle Seahawks and the LA Rams. Um, I will see y'all in that episode, everybody. So as always, stay safe. Oh. Later, y'all.